Hey what's going on ladies and gents welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. This video is going to be different than the usual because I'm going to be talking about a future character. Well perhaps it is a future character. I would be surprised if it's not. We're going to be talking about Baal the ominous Electro Eternity Archon. She's very infamous for using her own vision Electro Vision to knock out every other vision in the entirety of Inazuma, she has the Vision Hunt Decree going on. Not to mention, she hasn't granted any Electro Visions in over a year. She's pretty intense, <laughs> let's just say that. And she sounds really, you know, uptight. Um, for the past, uh, I don't know how long, we've had two Archons that we know of. We know of Venti and we know of Zhongli. Venti and Zhongli are both pretty passive in every way, shape and form. Both of them are Archons that like to stay in the back. For example, Venti, he isn't a parent in Mondstadt, citizens of Mondstadt, and they hope for him to return every single day and grant them wishes and whatever it is. But Venti conceals himself, he doesn't show himself as Zhongli did in the past in which the Rite of Parting, not the Rite of Parting, but the Rite of Ascension, or whatever, whatever it was called, in which every year Morax or Rex Lapis comes from the sky and onto the earth in order for them to get their yearly contracts and what will be good and what won't be good. And I mean, that, that was what Zhongli was doing. He was sort of active, but sort of not really. Now he's... He wants to be retired. He doesn't want to do that anymore. He believes Leo is for the people. And I guess I understand that. But he, he wasn't an active role. Or he's not an active role anymore. Making this new character all the more interesting. Ball, on the other hand, she's very active. Um, especially with the whole Vision Hunt Decree. Some of you might ask, what's the Vision Hunt Decree? Some of you might already know. So, the Vision Hunt Decree is... A decree or a statement or a law that is now set for anyone who has any type of vision within an Azuma to be stripped of the vision and or if there is any resistance they would be eliminated obviously no one who was blessed by a god and you know they receive the blessing of a vision wants to relinquish their vision in any way shape or form so there's obviously going to be some resistance and that makes a lot of sense to me why a lot of people are no longer here. Kazuha, if you guys have seen, he had a friend in which challenge Ball, the Electro Archon, and he lost the battle. He tried to go against her and he lost and he got his vision removed as well as his life eliminated. And <laughs> that's kind of scary to talk about because if that's the case, we had two Archons that were support characters, I would see this new character, Ball, be a very strong GPS character. All the Archons so far are really strong. All the Archons so far are great supports, amazing supports actually. Zhongli with his shield as well as his ult, and Venti with his whole energy recharge thing in which his ult is up all the time and he just sucks everything up in the black hole. Not to mention it's a black hole. <laughs> and yeah, both of them are really strong in the story as well in which they talk about how Venti carved mountains and how, you know, Zhong Li or Rex Lapis or Marx or how many other names he has. Um, he threw spears, and those spears created what is now Guyan Stone Forest. Kind of crazy to think about, but they are the gods of this game. So it makes a lot of sense. And what I'm trying to say is, this new Archon that's going to be coming out, Ball, is, has so much potential to be a DPS character. And I'm kind of excited for that because Electro needs strong units. Electro units now need a buff. Will she be the first one to be usable? Like, in a DPS format, Kiching isn't really as usable as other characters. You have to build her a different way than how she should be built, and that's kind of upsetting in a lot of ways. But I think the new Electro Archon ball is going to be really great for any DPS. So, I mean, that's that. 
in the trailer that you guys might have seen for Kazuha and in the whole animation, you guys saw her wielding a katana. That might mean that she is a sword user or a long sword user. Or, this is just 100% speculation by me and me only, they might make a new class for just swords. A samurai class, you know, they'd have katanas. That would make a lot of sense because, you know, I, I think Kaza should have katanas, but it is what it is. It's kind of unfortunate. So she would most likely have a sword, in my opinion. If not a sword, a claymore. It's kind of fortunate that it won't be a katana or classed as a katana. It would just be a claymore or a sword, which is kind of unfortunate. Anyways, she eliminated anyone who challenges her authority in any way, shape, or form, especially if they have a vision. She just, goodbye, <laughs> you're, you're off of this planet. And she also created a thing. It's super ominous and mysterious if you guys see it. I'm gonna show you guys on the screen. It's, it looks like it has a bunch of eyes and I'm pretty sure um, she created this with all the visions of some sort. I don't know, I don't know the lore of the story too well, but it looked like this is the thing that's gonna grant her eternity or all life or whatever it's called. And it's kind of scary. It looks it looks weird. Kind of looks like that thing that, um, what's it called? It looks like the tenth tail, the ten tail beast, the ten tail beast. I, I have no idea what the name of it is. Uh, it just looks like it, <laughs> and I thought it was really weird. But yeah. So when can we expect her? You know, banner. I don't know because what happened with Genshin Impact in the very release of the game? They released an Archon. They released Venti or Barbados. He was the first thing that came out. And seeing that they came, kind of came with Monset, I wouldn't be too surprised if it came along with Inazuma to be the first character to be released. The only thing that puts me off is the fact that this character was not talked about at all other than in Kaza's story, but they showed characters such as Yoimiya, Sayu, as well as Ayaka. They showed those three characters and I'm assuming those three characters are 5 star units. If they're not, it's pretty cool that one of them is 4 star, but I'm pretty sure they're 5 star units. And um, that's kind of unfortunate, but if they have Baal on the first banner, it's going to be insane. Not only did Kaza just come out, so a lot of people summoned on him, it's, it's going to be a little bit tough to get this character. But for me, I saved, uh, I don't have Kaza on my main account, so I'm going to be summoning on my main account which I find really cool and I cannot wait to do that all right so one last thing to talk about or ball at least is what is she going to do with the visions she might have used all the visions to create that thing I talked about earlier the whole pursuit of eternity using those visions but I don't see any way she perform how this works if you eliminate any person from having a vision how is she going to be eternalized? How is she going to remain on the earth with whatever... Um, with any of the... With any of the visions? Can, can she make the visions come back to life using her own gnosis? Is that possible? Is she the one giving out visions that are electro? I honestly don't know because as they said in the lore of the story... The visions are granted by gods, and she is a god in this game. So, her getting all the visions back, does that mean she's getting all the powers, all the blessings from all the different types of gods, such as Barbados and Zhongli? I'm kind of really interested in that, and I want to know if that's the case or not. I mean, if that's the case, it's going to be really interesting to see. And other than that, guys... I mean, that's pretty much all I want to talk about for Ball. She's going to be an interesting character. I really hope she's a good Electro unit for the future of the game, just so Electro units are be become viable. Not just having that character, maybe buffing Electro in general. I'm assuming Inazuma will get an Electro buff. It's going to have something with that because they did this with Spiral Abyss, but maybe they'll actually do it for, you know, Ball. Because Kaza kind of made the whole swirl buff. So I wouldn't be surprised if this new Inazuma character would also, you know, have a buff for us to have for the Electro units. I think that's pretty exciting to think about and there's a lot of exciting things to think about in the future. 
Um, hopefully this new zone is not disappointing either and we can expect a lot of things from it just as we saw from the 1.6 update for you know the golden apple archipelago but i really hope it's not just oh you know another dragon spine because dragon spine you did everything and then you just left right there's nothing else to do so i'm really hoping there's more domains there's more craftable weapons there's more um types of trees even and there's more things to collect such as you know specialties from that certain place such as plants or whatever and new ball new mobs rather new weekly boss maybe it would be pretty cool if we have a new weekly boss um we could have i don't know we could have a bunch of stuff and there's so much potential for Inazuma and i cannot wait to see it i think they were they're already doing a good job with the golden apple archipelago so i'm not too worried i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good patch anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video subscribing to the channel see you guys in the next video very soon Goodbye.